This is an HTML file. If you open up this file, you see this collection of HTML code. And if you open that code in a browser like Firefox or Chrome, you get this. This is the first web page ever created back in 1991 using the newly invented technology Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML for short. HTML is mostly just a collection of words in a file that turn into a page with a text similar to a newspaper page. And as with a newspaper page, an HTML page is structured by making some of the words on the page mean something. Some are titles, others are headings, and even bullet points. As you can see, HTML is not very pretty, but it is functional, and it was a massive revolution back in 1991 because HTML introduced something completely new, something that you and I take for granted today. And the name Hypertext Markup Language hints to the answer. The hypertext part of HTML is what we commonly refer to today as plain old links. You see that first HTML page created the first links to other HTML pages that linked to even more pages and eventually all those pages made up what became known as the internet. So it's thanks to HTML and the ability to link one page to another that today we enjoy YouTube, Netflix, TikTok, Facebook, etc, etc all your favorite internet sites and services. All web pages are at the core made up of HTML code, which defines the structure of the words on that page. But as you can see with the first internet page, this was very ugly. As you know, modern web pages tend to look quite pretty. This is where CSS comes in. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, which is exactly what it does. CSS files and their code style HTML pages to make them look more appealing to the human eye. CSS was released in 1996, five years after the first HTML page, and now we could give those simple HTML pages color, backgrounds, and typography. With CSS, we could now move words around and create sections which should look distinct from the rest of the page. CSS also introduced another thing that we take for granted today, which is content borders and blocks. Now we could arrange our pages in more than just one way. We could make the content bigger, smaller, change the font, add a background image, add a box behind some text, and all of that little CSS code added up to a web page that looks much more unique and aesthetic than what an HTML page could ever look like alone. CSS is also the reason that we can look at the same web page on a 50-inch TV and on our smartphones and the page still looks good because it changes the layout of the page to fit any screen size. This is what's called responsive web page design. So with CSS, we can make our pages more than simple newspaper pages. Now they start looking like the modern web pages you and I recognize and love today. But there's still one element missing to really make a web page interesting, and that is interactivity, which brings us to JavaScript. JavaScript is another file with code inside that tells HTML and CSS files how to behave. Up until 1995, when JavaScript came along, web pages were static pages. That meant that when you loaded that page on your browser, that page could not change whatsoever, not by itself and certainly not by anything you as a visitor did. That means that all the interactivity we take for granted today, like making a Google search, logging into our social media accounts, adding to our shopping carts, posting our content or liking a YouTube video, which I suggest you do if you are enjoying this video so far, all of that interactivity is thanks to JavaScript. JavaScript makes web pages in essence behave alive, taking the HTML and CSS code and making interactivity where the elements on the web page can react to what you as the visitor does. So an easy way to understand this is if you click something and something happens, then that's JavaScript code making that happen. Pretty cool how far we've come from 1991 and the static web pages to today where we have a global network of billions of daily active users interacting, sharing and creating with each other through internet web pages and applications. HTML, CSS and JavaScript are the building blocks of the internet you and I love. And I don't know what the world would be today without them. What I do know is that if you are still watching this video, you are going to love the upcoming videos on this channel. My name is Admir, and I switched my career to become a developer at the age of 30. And today I make videos on how to become the developer, how to learn programming, the different programming languages and what they do, 
as well as some coding advice and tutorials for beginners. So if these topics excite you, then I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for when the next video drops. Until then, have a great one.